The roar of the Zurich crowd was a familiar symphony to Scott Swift. He watched from a private box, a grin splitting his face as his daughter, Taylor, shimmered under the spotlight. Tonight's setlist included a mashup he wasn't expecting, Mary's song, Oh My My My, bleeding seamlessly into Everything Has Changed. His gaze darted towards the audience, instantly finding the towering figure of Travis Kelsey, Taylor's NFL beau. Travis, usually a picture of stoic athleticism, stood frozen, phone clutched in his hand, filming. But as the lyrics shifted, a choked sob escaped him. Scott's grin softened. The playful 87 on Travis Jersey, a not-so-subtle nod to Taylor's birth year, seemed particularly poignant now. The line, cause all I know is we said hello, and your eyes look like coming home, hung heavy in the air. Taylor, with a knowing smile, locked eyes with Travis for a beat longer than usual. Another sob racked his frame, and a tear rolled down his cheek. Suddenly, the weight of the moment hit Scott. This wasn't just a performance, it was a public declaration, a love song serenading a man who clearly adored his daughter. A warmth bloomed in Scott's chest. He'd seen Taylor heartbroken countless times, immortalized in lyrics that resonated with millions. Seeing her so happy, so cherished, was a feeling that transcended pride. When the song ended, the applause was thunderous. Scott watched, touched, as Taylor blew a kiss towards the tearful Travis. Later, after the obligatory post-show family hug, Scott pulled Taylor aside. That was. He started, searching for the right words. That was beautiful, honey. Seeing you and Travis like that. Dad, Taylor chuckled, a blush creeping up her neck. It was just a song. Scott winked. Sure it was, sweetheart. Just a song that made a grown man cry in front of thousands of people. Taylor rolled her eyes, but a smile played on her lips. He's a big softy, that one. Scott patted her hand. Seems like you found a good one, Tay. He makes you happy, that's all that matters. Taylor leaned into her dad, a tear glistening in her own eye. He does, dad. He really does. In that quiet moment, bathed in the afterglow of the concert, Scott knew this wasn't just another song, another relationship. This, he felt, was something special. And for the first time, he allowed himself to dream of a future where Taylor might finally find the happily ever after she deserved, a future where Travis Kelsey, the big, emotional football player, might just be the one to write it with her. The roar of the Zurich crowd was deafening, but over it all, Scott Swift could hear the unmistakable hitch in his daughter's voice. He squinted through the sea of glowing phone screens, his gaze landing on Taylor, bathed in a warm spotlight. Her eyes were fixed on a single figure in the VIP box, Travis Kelsey, his Kansas City Chiefs jersey a beacon amongst the black. Scott had warmed up to Travis considerably since their awkward introduction in Argentina. The giant of a man had a surprising shyness, a goofy grin that mirrored Taylor's own. But tonight, something different flickered in Travis' eyes, a vulnerability that tugged at Scott's fatherly instincts. As the opening notes of Everything Has Changed filled the stadium, a hush fell. It was a lesser-known song, a quiet gem from Taylor's early days. Scott knew it was a deliberate choice, a secret melody sung just for Travis. The crowd, sensing the significance, erupted in knowing cheers when Taylor sang, cause all I know is we said hello, and your eyes looked like coming home. A lump formed in Scott's throat. He'd witnessed Taylor navigate heartbreak through her music for years, but this felt different. This was raw, open affection, a melody woven with the threads of a blossoming love. He stole a glance at Travis. The big man wasn't swaying anymore. His shoulders were shaking, a single tear tracing a glistening path down his cheek. Scott felt a strange mix of amusement and a warmth that spread through his chest. This hulking football star, reduced to mush by his daughter's song. Maybe, just maybe, Travis was the real deal. After the song ended, the crowd roared its approval. Taylor, a radiant smile on her face, blew a kiss towards the VIP box. Travis, red-faced and blinking back tears, fumbled in his pocket and pulled out a red scarf, Taylor's signature from her red era. He held it high, a goofy grin splitting his face, and the crowd roared with renewed energy. Scott chuckled, shaking his head. 
he'd never seen a grown man so affected by a scarf. But as he watched Taylor and Travis share a moment across the stadium, a silent conversation filled with love and laughter, Scott knew one thing for sure. His daughter, the Queen of Heartbreak Anthems, had finally found her happily ever after, and it was written not in red, but in the tender melody of Everything Has Changed. The roar of the Zurich crowd was deafening as Taylor Swift finished her power ballad, all too well. But amidst the cheers, Scott Swift, perched in a VIP box, noticed a lone figure dabbing his eyes with a red Kansas City Chiefs cap. It was Travis Kelsey, Taylor's superstar boyfriend, looking utterly smitten. Scott, a man of quiet strength, had been cautiously optimistic about Taylor's new bow. A hulking tight end with a booming voice on the field, Travis seemed a world away from the sensitive souls Taylor usually sang about. Yet, here he was, a giant moved to tears by his daughter's music. A smile tugged at Scott's lips. Maybe, just maybe, Travis was different. After the concert, Scott found himself face to face with a red-faced but grinning Travis. Mr. Swift, Travis mumbled, extending a hand the size of a catcher's mitt. Scott chuckled, shaking it firmly. Travis, please. Taylor tells me you're a terrible liar, so don't try to downplay that waterworks display. Travis sheepishly rubbed his neck. Man, that song, it hit different live. Especially when she looked right at me. Scott's smile widened. He saw a genuine vulnerability in Travis's eyes, a stark contrast to the fierce competitor he witnessed on Sundays. Seems like you've got her wrapped around your finger, son. Travis's confidence faltered. I hope so, sir. She's, well, she's Taylor Swift. I gotta make sure I deserve her. Scott placed a hand on Travis's broad shoulder. Deserve? Son, you flew halfway across the world to see her perform. You cried during a love song. That kind of heart is exactly what she deserves. Travis's eyes welled up again, this time with gratitude. Thanks, Mr. Swift. That means a lot. The next day, Scott received a surprise gift, a custom-made Eagles jersey with Swift 13 emblazoned on the back. It was a peace offering, a playful jab at Scott's lifelong allegiance to the Eagles, Travis's rival team. Scott chuckled, touched by the gesture. Maybe, just maybe, Travis Kelsey was exactly what Taylor needed. He was a fierce protector, a sensitive soul, and surprisingly good with a sewing machine. As Scott slipped on the jersey, a newfound warmth filled him. He wasn't just gaining a daughter-in-law, he was gaining a son, a son who understood the power of a love song, tears, and a well-placed eagle's reference.